once again welcome back to my youtube channel today i am going to tell you about merit and demerit of standard deviation mean deviation and quartile deviation merit and demerit also called as advantage and disadvantage so today i am going to discuss about advantage and disadvantage also merit and demerit of standard deviation mean deviation and quartile deviation so i am going to start with merit advantage of standard deviation so here is some point of standard deviation a merit or advantage which is called as merit also called as advantage so point one is it is rigidly defined so it is rigidly defined point two is it is the best measures of dispersion it is the best measures of dispersion point three it is based on all observation it is based on all observation point four deviation are taken from central value point to be noted deviation are taken from central value point five algebraic sign is also considered point to be noted algebraic sign is also considered point six it is capable to further statistical work so advantage of standard deviation is capable to further statistical work now i am going to tell you about demerit which is also called as disadvantage of standard deviation here is some point of demerits point 1 is it gives more weight to extreme value it cannot be calculated for open ended class so the demerit of standard deviation is it gives more weight to extreme value and it cannot be calculated for open in classes point 3 is as compared to other measures it is difficult to compute so it is the dis disadvantage of standard deviation is it is very difficult to compute so i am going to tell you about merit or advantage of mean deviation here is some point of mean deviation merit or advantage demerit or disadvantage so merit or advantage of mean deviation is it is simple to understand and easy to compute point 2 is it is based on each and every data point 3 is it is less affected by extreme value so i am going to tell you about demerits or disadvantage of mean deviation here is some point of demerit of mean deviation so point 1 is this method will not give us very accurate result so this method will not give us very accurate result so mean deviation have this disadvantage it is not capable of further algebraic treatment the demerit of mean deviation is it is not capable of further algebraic treatment and the last one the last point is algebraic signs are ignored while taking the deviation in this mean deviation algebraic signs are ignored when we take the deviation now i am going to tell you about quartile deviation merit or advantage and demerit or disadvantage so here is some point of quartile deviation here is merit or advantage which is called as advantage of quartile deviation so i am going to tell you about what is merit or advantage of quartile deviation in a point so point 1 is it is simple to understand and easy to calculate so remember one point quartile deviation is very simple to understand and it is very easy to calculate everyone easily calculate everyone easily understand so point 2 is it is not affected by extreme value or observation you can write it is not affected by extreme observation or it is not affected by extreme value that means quartile division have advantage 
what is advantage the advantage is it is not affected by extreme observation and it can be calculated even for open in classes remember this point it can be calculated even for even for open in class but a standard deviation cannot be calculated even for open in classes i already told you in previous standard deviation so now i am going to tell you about demerit or disadvantage of quartile deviation it is not based on all observation it is not based on all observation that means it never based on all observation point 2 is it is affected by fluctuation of sampling it is always affected by fluctuation of sampling so this one is the demerit of quartile division now the last point is arrangement of data are necessary to calculate quartile division as an arrangement of data are necessary now which point is common for quartile division and mean division i am going to tell you so i am going to show you about the quartile division merit or advantage as well as mean division merit or advantage you can see here it is simply to understand easy to compute it is simple to understand and easy to compute or you can say it is simple to understand and easy to calculate both are same merit or advantage of quartile division and mean division so you can remember that now you can check this it is based on each and every data this mean division based on each and every data also it is less affected by extreme value but in quartile division you can check here it is not affected by extreme value of or observation but in mean division it is less affected by extreme value or observation this point is important so you have to remember so if you like this video please share with your friends and classmate and please subscribe my channel don't forget to subscribe and share this video if you like this video please comment subscribe and even if you need a statistics chapter for mba level mbs level bbs bba plus 2 science management in the class 9 class 10 you will get all of those answer on my youtube channel even every subject i have a playlist go and check the playlist and we will meet you soon bye bye